First, let me define agility. Agility is typically a common term we use in business and ideally, especially in today's uh, world of uncertainty in the pandemics and what's going on, business agility is quite important. And what that is, or what it refers to, is that organizations must be dynamic, must be flexible, must be responsive to change. And as a startup company now, we are working on technology startup. Uh, often enough, startup will sometime, you know, when, as a result of what's going on in the market, they might have to pivot. Uh, that's a term they use in the startup world, which means they might have to adjust their vision or adjust their product. Uh, in order to uh, uh, respond to the market changes and the environment that's going on. So business agility is something that's quite important and most successful organizations do practice a certain form of business agility. Otherwise, if they are too rigid, sooner or later they break. Now the word agile, and unfortunately many people when they talk about agile and agile practices and agile transformation, they are really talking about agility, not agile, not agile. Again, I, I confuse the term because everybody likes to pronounce it differently. So I like to use the word agile, so let me stick to agile. So basically, again, the money, they confuse. However, you know, often enough when we talk about agile, is we are really more, especially in the, in the context, remember it depends. If we're talking about agile in general, hey, Munir is agile, that means flexible, you know, uh, you know, dynamic, whatever the case might be. Usually that means you know, Munir has agility. However, when we talk about agile in the context of project management, and especially as it relates to technology project, agile often enough refer to the concept of iterative or incremental development. 